friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first visit, I encourage you to check out my channel. I've got hundreds and hundreds of projects and gift ideas, and surely you'll find something you like. Today we are iced in here in the Mid-South. Perfect day for crafting. And I thought I'm gonna dig through my stash and see what I can come up with. So I made the cutest little windowsill angel made out of a Kleenex and a dryer sheet. So let's go to my craft table and let me show you how I put this little angel together. All right, friends, we're here at my craft table, and I have most of the supplies here in front of me. Now, I'm not going to go over what all you need, because I'll explain it to you as I get to it. And also, I'll have them typed out in the description box, so you can easily see what I'm using. Now, there's a variety of things you could use for your angel dress or body, whatever you want to call it. Um, I had thrifted a bunch of cones, so that's what I'm going to use. This is a 3 and an eighth by 9 inch cone is what I'm using. Now, down below, I will also put a cone pattern generator where you can just put in the size of angel you want and cut out the paper pattern and trace it on a cereal box or some kind of cardstock that you have and there you go you have a cone but since I have these styrofoam cones I'll I'm going to use that now I've got some scrap fabric here I love the little springy print and the first thing I need to do is cover my cone so I'm going to just take my hot glue and glue it onto one side and roll my cone and then hot glue the seam and then just cut off the extra and that will give me an instant angel dress body all right, I've got my cone covered in fabric now, and I just fold it over the top layer just so to give it a, a, a neater seam. It's not going to show because it's the back, and decided just to fold over the extra and hot glue it to the bottom. Now, the cone itself uh, seems pretty stable, but, you know, there's always a chance of it getting toppled over, even with the embellishments on there. So I have a little round chipboard coaster that I think will be a good idea for me just to hot glue it on there. You could use a wood slice or even just a thick piece of cardstock, whatever you have, just to give it a little bit more stability so it'll stand up for sure. Or if you make your own cone, you'll be able to sit your head just straight on there. But since mine is a cone, I'm going to dig out with my scissors um, a pretty good size hole so that my head will sit, fit down on the cone. I'm just gonna just kind of chisel this out. You know, just use your fingers, whatever you, you got. And so it will fit down on there and I can put a little hot glue on there like that. It won't take much and it doesn't have to look perfect because we're gonna put a collar on her and none of that will ever show. Okay. Now, I don't want it to look like a styrofoam ball. So how I'm gonna disguise that is I'm taking a Kleenex and I'm going to decoupage and then once I get to the hole, I'm gonna cut off the excess. So what this will do is just soften up that styrofoam and give it a little different look and just take the styrofoam look away from the ball. Because once it's dried is when I'll be able to add a little facial detail to it. Now, the reason why I'm not using a paper towel is because you know, a paper towel, a lot of times my paper towels from Costco have a little diamond print to it. And that's why you can use tissue paper or Kleenex or anything like that. I'm going to try to smooth it out best I can. And the good thing is it's all white and it will hide a lot of flaws. And by the way, this, what I'm dipping in here is just some homemade Mod Podge. I use so much decoupage glue that it's just better for me to use my own solution. I'm saturating the Kleenex pretty good. And then it kind of rips off itself. If you'll pull it to where it needs to go and then just kind of rip off what you don't need, you just got to make sure that that hole is going to be still open so that you can get it on the body. I'm going to take my heat gun and just kind of lightly help get this tissue dry. Um, it's dry enough for me to just put it to the side because there's something I need to do to my body before I put my head on. I'm going to make her kind of like a lace collar is what I call it. And I'm actually going to be using a dryer sheet. I'm just using a dryer sheet because it's something I have. It's smooth. Uh, you could use a piece of fabric. There's a variety of things you could use, but I just wanted to use a dryer sheet because it smells good. Do like we did in school and make like a paper snowflake. So I just take it, fold it in half, half again, 
half again. And so we're almost making like a piece of pie. I've already kind of measured about how long I need her collar and I'm going to make it about two inches. It does not have to be perfect, but this is how you kind of make a round circle. I'm going to cut off the tip. That's what's going to fit over the neck. Take my scissors and just cut some notches out of this triangle. It can be anything you can come up with. Little points. Uh, you can put some little triangles in the outside edge. It's the same way we used to make paper snowflakes. All the way around. Tidbits that you're cutting out of that. Just to show you that it's not perfect, but when I open it up, it almost makes like a little lace doily. And that's what's going to be her little collar. And I'm going to put it over her neck. Set it over like that. Like now that my head is almost dry, I'm going to put hot glue inside here and inside here and attach the head to the body. All right, now that I've got her head and collar on there, I need to be aware now of where my seam is because that's going to be the back of my angel. I need to keep that in mind. My neck hole is a little big and I see some of my fabric, but I can add some little ribbons or something there to totally disguise that. Now I'm ready to make her arms. And I just found some coordinating fabric. I love stripes and floral. I think that's so cute together. And I've got a piece of scrap fabric here, 11 by 6, something like that. You may have to play around with your scrap fabric. It all depends on how big your cone is and things. So what I'm going to do to make the arms and hands, I'm just going to take this piece of scrap fabric and roll it up. About like my finger, something like that. I'm going to tie it in a knot, and that knot is going to symbolize her little hands folded together. I got some wild strings. And now I'm going to take each end of my arms, these are like her little shoulders, and I'm going to make sure I remember where the back of my dress is. I'm going to hot glue them on the back of the dress right there where my seams are, up under her collar. The collar is what's going to hide where her arms start. I'm going to put a hot glue right there and some hot glue right there. I'm going to put her little collar down and then when I raise her back up, this is her little arms and hands all cupped together. So, super cute. So, I'm going to do my little face last. And like I said, I'm going to tie some ribbons around her neck. With this being a windowsill angel, she has a little poem that I want to attach to her hands. And so I took, printed out the little poem. I'm going to uh, have the poem typed out below so you can either print it or handwrite it, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to pull it up here close so you can see. It's still awfully little. And it says, Here sits your windowsill angel, a gentle reminder to pray. Have you stopped to give thanks for God's love today? Just cut it out with a circle punch and layer it on some cardstock, make it look cute, and then just tie it on her little wrist like that. Now to make her wings, this is just some Dollar Tree raffia. And I'm going to pick out four or five pieces. It's real long and stringy. I think they have this year round. And you're just going to put them all together. It may be about seven pieces. Wrap them up like a bow. Back and forth. Take a rubber band, and you can use wire or whatever, and then you can put a piece of ribbon on there to cover up the, the rubber band. I'm going to spread it out, kind of like butterfly wings. I'm going to attach my little sign, glue my wings on there, figure out some the little uh, something for her halo, and then once this is dry, I will put some little face on it. So I'm going to finish her up, and then I'll show you what she looks like. Now, and I brought her in here to the kitchen so the light is brighter so you can see. You know, we're all going to have different fabrics and embellishments, but the construction of her is basically the same, and I just wanted to show you how easy it was to take a pile of scraps and make something so adorable. I just 
just used some wire greenery, a little string of pearls, and made her halo. I took a black marker to make her eyelashes and mouth and a little blush on her cheeks, and then her little poem tied onto her wrist. So I hope you can find or create a cone and make your own one-of-a-kind windowsill angel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye.